Okay, so here we are with your basic electric HVAC system with all the controls exposed so that you can see what's going on behind closed doors. Okay, so first things first. We got a breaker that's your main power supply for all your controls inside your air handler which gets its power from the main power supply of the house. Then we got your transformer which transforms your main power supply to 24 volts so that it can, it can be used to control your thermostat, your fan relay, your sequencer, your, uh, your uh, contactor, and all that other good stuff. Okay, so basically what's going on when you turn on the power, power from the main power supply is passing through the breaker and it's going into this transformer and it's being transformed to 24 volts which is a small voltage so it can be used inside these little coils of the controls. One side of these controls is always going to be hot and the reason for that is because it's being broken with the controls and this thermostat here controls pretty much everything and has a name for everything so when you turn it on fan on this fan relay will then have 24 volts being uh, provided to here which has a piece of bimetal. These two top spade clips are what they call normally open, so they're broken right here. But when this has 24 volts applied to it, this piece of bimetal then pushes up and passes power from this side to this side, which then will energize your blower motor. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example of that. Fan on. So right now, power is being passed from here through the piece of bimetal which has made a closed circuit now on the top spade clips and turned on your blower motor. When you turn it off the 24 volts de-energizes from here this bimetal pulls back down and breaks the circuit up here and then it stops power from the blower motor. So when you turn on the air conditioner Pretty much everything that I just told you still happens here. You have that 24 volts being applied here, the bimetal goes up and closes this normally open circuit and turns on the blower motor. But at the same time, you also have 24 volts being distributed or pushed to the outside contactor, which will then be energized and pass power from this through and turn on your compressor and fan motor and then you have air conditioning. Let's do that. So right now you're getting your 24 volts going to the fan relay. It's making a circuit at the normally closed and turning on your blower. You're also getting 24 volts being distributed outside to your contactor, which is turning on your outside unit. Thus, you have air conditioning. I'm gonna turn that off. When you run the heater, it's a little bit different. So when you run the heater, power is still going through this fan relay, but the bottom, the middle set of, of spade clips are what they call normally closed. So if you were to get an ohm meter and put a lead here and a lead here, it would ohm out because this circuit is normally closed. While there is no power to here, this will is normally closed. And when there is 24 volts here, that this piece of bimetal pushes up, the power will then break at the, at the middle ones and, and close the top ones. But in, when there is no power, the top ones are open, which are normally open, and the middle ones are closed. So then, your call for white will push 24 volts to this white wire, which is on your sequencer. And then you have almost the same thing going on in the sequencer. There's a piece of bimetal in here that will then be energized, push up, and this power will then pass through this sequencer and go through the normally closed circuit and then turn on your blower motor. At the same time that that's happening, these here are on a time delay or on what they call a time sequence. So this one will energize first. Meanwhile, 
a minute to two minutes later this one will energize which is hooked up to the heater side of the system and there's a specific reason for that so now let's put our thermostat over to heat and like I was explaining before the 24 volts is not going to the fan relay but it's going to the sequencer and your power is being passed through because it has made a circuit it's going through the center part and it turned on your blower motor so it's been about a minute and 20 seconds as you can see your heater is now energized and it's turned on so the reason for the time um, delay in the time sequence is this when your heater turns off or you turn your heater off the first sequencer would be energized first turning off the heater there will be no more 24 volts at the sequencer so it would shut off but it shuts off in a time sequence so the first one will shut off that shuts off is going to be this one which will shut off your heater and once your heater is shut off after about another 45 seconds your fan will shut off and the reason why it stays running is to cool off your heating elements inside the air handler to their to where they are a safe temperature to be off then your fan will turn off and that's the reason for this time sequence relay or sequencer now your heater is at a safe temperature now it's okay for your fan to shut off and that my friends is how an HVAC system works behind closed doors.